Oh, viewers, I've got my viola back. Yes, viewers, things have gone very, very well. I know we were going to come out for the away leg against Leon, but I was just that confident. I thought, you know what? Let's play the second leg. Drew 0-0, should have won the game. Cruised through, no issues. Beat Torino in the last minute of the game at home to continue the good form. And then we followed up with a whopping 3-1 win away against Roma. That, my friends, has catapulted us up into sixth position. And we are chasing down Parma and Lazio. Now... I get to play Palmer before the end of the season. That's you not. We are seven points behind with five games left. It does seem a little insurmountable. Having said that, I do feel like there is a chance we can catch Palmer and qualify for the Europa League next year. Although, they've had a brilliant season, Palmer. They're still very much punching above their weight. Can they make it last all the way to the end? They've just beaten Milan and Juventus, so you'd probably think... Yes, yes, they will. They've got Monza, Udinese, Empoli, Cagliari, and then we finish against them on the final day of the season. So, we need some results to go our way. Uh, Lazio, on the other hand, have maybe got a bit of a harder run in. Uh, they've got Juventus still to play Monza, Udinese, Empoli, and Cagliari. So, there's a few, but obviously against Juventus, there is a chance they could drop points there. Uh, they're playing them today. We, on the other hand, are playing Brescia, and our run in's a little bit more difficult. The most important thing to note, though, is that we are playing Tottenham in in the Europa League semi-finals and the first leg of that will be going on today as we travel to the new Shite Heart Lane, sorry, White Heart Lane, to take on the Spurs. The other semi-final is Bayer Leverkusen versus FC Porto, two teams I would actually feel quite confident of beating. Tottenham are easily now the best team, I can't believe I just said that, left in the competition. So we've drawn the short straw there. Get through that though, maybe just maybe... The Europa League is not out of reach, not yet. But before that, let's focus on our game against Brescia. We'll be keeping an eye on some of the other teams that are in and around us. Roma are equal on points with us, so they are chasing us down at the moment, but they're in a pretty bad run of form, it's safe to say. So, looking at the team then, it's going to be the same team that's played so well over the last few weeks. Campo is in goal. Hickey, Basia, Ozan Kabak and Ranch make up the back four that have been actually pretty solid so far since I got all of them involved. Uh, Kana is filling in at defensive mid. Actually, no, he's not. I'm going to put Luis back in. Uh, so, Felipe Luis is filling in there. Kana can go back on to the bench. Uh, he's been in pretty decent form, to be fair, as Kana, actually. So, it's a little harsh that he's been left out. Uh, McKendie and Quissons have been brilliant. McKendie, in particular, has been absolutely sensational in the last few weeks finally beginning to look a bit more like the player I had hoped so and it is a timely return to form for Francisco Trincao playing a 7.12 he scored two goals in the game against Roma Juranovic is the problem here he's on playing at 6.56 and hasn't scored in what feels like an eternity Chimiti on the other hand has gone completely the other way as on fire Lamats is back got a goal against Roma as well so expect him to start if Juranovic does not score today this is his last chance before we play Spurs I've told the boys to go on and carry on straight from where we finished in the last match. We were excellent against Roma. Very, very clinical would be my way of doing it. And we defended brilliantly. Campo is up at the moment for a young player of the year. And it's kind of hard to go against that. These are the kind of games I've been slipping up in this year. We've not done that well against the big teams. I've also not done particularly that well against the teams that are near the bottom. I've dropped a lot of points against the these styles of teams and that needs to stop and stop today. It looks like Palmer already ahead, by the way, which is not good for me. Ranch on the ball, moving forward, plays it into Uranway. It's a nice pass back there to Quissant. Quissant's on the ball, hits it long. Looking over the top, there's McKendy, Hickey. He's arguably been my signing of the season, to be fair, Hickey. He's changed it on that left-hand side as Uranovic gets hold of the ball, hits it. I mean, that sort of sums up where his confidence is at at the moment as Kabach gets done by Piravano and it's 1-0 from a long ball over the top. I love it! I love it. All of it comes from Juranovic giving the ball away. And Moise Keane just hits the long ball over the top. Kabach just getting the wrong side. And um, good. McKendy into Trincao. That's it. Spread it wide. Hickey on the ball. Go on. Whip this in. Hickey. Back post. Juranovic. It's just not happening for him. Shirley Bassey here on the ball. I mean, I love that reference, by the way. Cabat. Well, we all know that's going to be a pen. Don't we? We all know that's going to be a penalty. 
Just waiting for the ref to give the pen. Oh, no penalties. Giving it as a free kick. It definitely looks inside the box to me. I think we might have gotten away with one there. But either way, I'm not happy with the way that this has started. This has been a very poor, poor start to the game uh, from a Fiorentina point of view. We've had four chances and we've missed all of them. We've not even hit a shot on target yet. Come on. Ranch into Quissant. Ranch on the ball. Come on, mate. Ranch whips it in near post. Not quite. Arzan Kabak, who's on the yellow. That's always right. Florentino Luis, great ball. Hickey, that. That is magic. Florentino Luis, it's a great ball over the top. He gets his second goal for the club. He missed a sitter in the last episode. This time, turns it around. Great finish. Good to see. Love this from uh, Florentino. What a pick out that is. Great first touch by Hickey on his wrong foot. Smashes it on his left. Boom. We're even. And you can't say we haven't deserved it. They've had one shot and they've scored it. Which, it's been a while since that's happened to me. It's been like a couple of days, maybe, if that. Pretty pleased with the way that's going. If we can turn around before half time, I'll feel very, very confident indeed of going on and finishing this as Luis gets back on the ball, finds McKendie. But a bit quieter today. Juranovic looks for Chimiti, finds him. I mean, he gets a bit lucky with the pass. It's the right idea. Chimiti's never going to miss that. 20th goal for the season, second half of the year, or like the last month. He's been absolutely brilliant, and it's good to have him back. Love the football here. Juranovic, I mean, it's the right pass. Signorelli does nearly brilliantly, but actually, if anything, he makes it an easier chance for Chimiti as he gives him the angle to slot it in. 2 1 up. And um, could it be three before half time? Not with a corner like that. McKendy wins the ball back, though. That's more like it. Chimiti on it. Whips it in. Juranovic, not even close. Chimiti, go on, mate. Roast him. Chimiti tries to hit it. Not quite. They've hit it only clear as far as Ranch. The pressure we're putting them under is sensational here. McKendy back to Florentino. Quissant's got to go wide. Look at Hickey. Look at Hickey. He's found him. Hickey on the ball. Squares it in. Francisco Trincao's hit the post. Should have been three. Should have been three. He's been so much better in the last couple of games as Trincao. That was a close one. In terms of performance, it's been pretty good. I've told the boys there's room for improvement. They don't believe that by the looks of things. I mean, we've not been very good second half. We've not really done anything. I'm going to take Mikel Quissant off, and I'm going to bring on Marco Canna. Uh, it feels like it's the right thing to do. He usually helps me sort of solidify the midfield a little bit when I bring him on. He's a better defensive presence than Quissant is. Hopefully, he'll just help me seal up the midfield, get through this game. There is a highlight. Please, boys, don't mess this up. Canna to Fuentes. Nice from Fuentes. Luis, lovely ball by McKendie. And Claudio the Matza. Maybe, just maybe, Juranovic on the way out. Maybe it's the Max's time to shine. Although, obviously, we do have Pavon as well coming back next year. I'm not even going to be here next year. Or am I? No, I'm not. Probably. This is lovely football there. Lovely by McKendie. Into Claudio the Mats. Uh, lovely tucked away finish. That's what we want to see. This is my Viola. This is my Fiorentina. This is the sort of team that I thought I'd assembled a couple of years ago that won the title. As Chimiti gets on the ball, plays it to Fuentes, who gets his first goal for the club. That will do him the world of good. Brilliant from McKendie again. He's been, he's playing like a world-class footballer, the kind of footballer I knew he could be. Look at him win the ball back here. The composure to, to wait for the right pass to Chimiti. He lays it off to Fuentes. It's a lovely finish. 4-1. We're putting Brescia to the sword. From 1-0 from down to 4-1 up. This, this is better. Game over, game one. Told the boys a good job. Lovely. Just, yeah, couldn't ask for more. Interestingly, it looks like McKendie is a real target of Spurs. So this is going to be, this is going to be fun if we knock them out. So, do you really want to be with Spurs? I can be here. Both Basia and Kabak are suspended for my next game in the league, though. That's a little more concerning. Who am I playing? Spezia Calcio. Well, at least I'll be fit for the home leg. This is where one of them gets injured, isn't it? But here it is then. Tottenham against Fiorentina. Europa League semi-final first leg. Ooh, Nelly. Uh, I'm not going to go attacking in this. We're going to go balance to start off the game. And I'm also... No, nope, no changes. I'm going to stick with it. This team has got me out of the mire. It only feels right that I stick with them through this period of time. Can we do it? Can we just get a positive result away? Obviously, similar to the game in against Leon, I've got to get an away goal. A draw is brilliant. A draw is perfect. I'll happily take them back to Argaf and maybe do them over there. Looking at their team then, who have they got? They've got Livakovic and goal we all know how good he is. Uh, Regulon Parola. Is that Harry Maguire? 34. Right, get at him then. 
Driven, who's the player that I was really looking at getting last year, who's an absolutely sensational footballer. We all know how good he is. I was looking at buying him last year, and they beat me to him. I did actually have a bid accepted for him. He chose Spurs. Uh, they got Ravello, who looks like he's a new gen. What's he look like? He's not. Nicolo Ravella. Yeah, he looks solid. That's a bit annoying. And they got Jude Bellingham, who's obviously amazing. They've got White. Harry White, who looks okay. Harry Kane's on the left. And Troy Parrott is up front. So, that front three is a little bit scary. Harry Kane playing on the left at his age? How old's Harry Kane now in this? 33. His mentals are phenomenal. But, um, yeah, I mean, let's just see how we go. We've not really created a lot here. We've had two shots, one on target. They've had five and three, but still, not one highlight in the game. Like, not a sausage. It's literally the most boring boring one you could ever hear. Who's in charge of Spurs now? Luis Enrique is in charge of Spurs. But oh, how, the, uh, how the mighty have fallen. I've told the boys I'm really happy at half-time. We've been really solid, defensively good. Not really... Well, we haven't had them let them have any highlights. Nothing really to show. Would I be happy? I don't know. Our XG is high, which means that we obviously have missed a big chance somewhere along the line. We didn't get to see it, so it couldn't have been that big. Um, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place now. Because now I'm sat here thinking, do we go for it? As in, do, do I go for it? There's a highlight, and Hickey has the ball. He finds McKendie. Hickey whips it in. Oh, I'm getting excited. Don't give the ball away here. Ranch, back to Luis. Quissons to Juranovic. Juranovic dinks it. Chimiti. Oh, no, 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 no. Yusuf. Oh, I don't believe he's missed it. Quissons, we're growing into the game now. Quissons, back post. Trincao's missed it. Fuentes is coming on. I'm going to take off Juranovic. Bring on Claudio Lamazza. He scored in his last two games. He's a man in form. Quissant is coming off. Marco Canna is coming on again. Very, very similar changes to the ones I made. Actually, the exact same changes as I made in the Brezia game. And we all know that that turned out quite well. A dull as dishwater game. We've had two highlights. Both of them have fallen to us. We've not managed to take them. Chimiti's played at 6.3. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought Driven was going to give the ball away there. Don't concede in the last few minutes, guys. You've done so well. Don't undo it all. Gay on the ball to Everton. He scored. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Everton has scored. We're going attacking for the last 82, for the last eight minutes. Gay, the one time, the one time they've got him round behind. The one time. The one highlight they've had. I can't deny they deserve to win the game if you look at the 11 shots and 5 of them on target. We've had 8 shots, 1 on target. I was going to say it's got to be a good pass. This could actually make it worse. 2-0 is not good. They, they've got the ball. Gomez, Gay over the top to Bellingham. This is a second. I can feel it already. Bellingham to Rodrigo Gomez. Great block. Reguilon on the ball. Ravella to someone nick it off him. Please, anybody... Kane, Ozan Kabac hits it long. Lamatza, Kana. I see the pass. Chimi Fuentes for the Fuentes. Oh, what a save by Lavakovic. Oh, don't believe it. We did so well. Oh my god, Lamatza's in. Penalty! What a tackle by Parola. I thought they were gonna give us a pen. I really thought they were gonna give us a pen there. Spurs win 1-0 at White Hart Lane. We had chances. We didn't take them. I've got a massive, massive issue now. I've got a massive issue for the weekend. Because we are coming back for the very next fixtures. Which are going to be, and I do mean it this time. Because we're not going to want to miss the second leg, obviously, are we? And that's Spezia Calcio at home. Followed by Spurs coming to visit. Spezia is on Monday. Spurs is on Thursday. The Spezia game is a big game. This game is bigger. This game is bigger. And I cannot afford to drop points. I can't, or not drop points. I can't afford to drop points. I can't afford to concede an away goal. Otherwise, we're going to end up needing three. At least Kabak and Basir are going to be fit for the Spurs game because they're both suspended, so they're going to be nice and ready. Well, a nil-nil would have been perfect. But a one-nil, I needed an away goal, really. We had the chances and we just didn't take them. Are we going to make it through to the Europa League final? We'll find out next time. If you have enjoyed this episode, please do like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Predictions, please. Take care of yourselves as well, everyone.
All the best until I see you again for a massive, massive episode of Match and Mourinho. Stay cool.